Hello everyone, it's Riley Cook aka The One Wheel Realtor here and today we've got a little bit of a different video today. I'm actually going to paint and sand, well sand then paint uh, my bathroom because I had some awful wallpaper there from the old owner so I wanted to get rid of it so I tore it down. Uh, so today Sally and I are going to uh, basically do what I said, sand and paint and we're going to show you how to do it, what you need and uh, yeah any other tips or tricks so let's go. So this is Sally, and as you know, Riley, uh, we are going to paint Riley's bathroom today. Uh, I'm going to say that whether you are prepping your house for sale or whether you are doing it for yourself, paint is one of the cheapest ways of making the biggest impact and return on your investment you could possibly make. So today we're going to relatively inexpensively uh, transform Riley's bathroom. So, uh, I've done lots of painting over the years myself. It's, I find it very therapeutic. So, uh, this is uh, nice to be invited into this. I know that Riley's not done this before, so it's a teaching process. So, um, a lot of people will uh, work around what's on the walls and the doors. Uh, me, I like to clear everything so I have a clean slate. And that includes taking off hooks, lights, shelves, everything. So what we're going to do before we even start painting, and this is probably takes the longest, is the prepping. So make sure you prep properly and make sure you've got everything that you need on hand. So in this particular case, we're going to remove everything from the walls. Riley's already pulled the wallpaper off. We're going to sand this and then we're going to wash because this is a bathroom. There probably has been steam with possibly oils and stuff on the walls. It is, looks like it's sort of like a semi-gloss type finish on here. So we'll probably give this a light sand. And we're going to start right from the ceiling and come on down. We're making this really easy. We're cheating. We're painting it all the same color trim, walls, ceilings, everything. So we're not worrying about cutting edges. Done? You're looking. The GoPro just, oh, that's weird. Sorry, I thought it stopped recording, but the GoPro just uh, decides to turn off its lens. We're good. We're okay. Good. That... <laughs> so anyway, this is before, and uh, we will sort of follow along the journey, but right now we're into prep. See you in a bit. Okay, so we've gone our first step, which was to clear the room of the shower curtain and uh, double check all of the uh, items that we're going to need for this. So, uh, wallpaper was taken off, so the wall will need a light sanding. Uh, even when it was painted before, someone had painted over some dust. So you want to give it a light with a very ultra fine um, sandpaper. We have our drop cloths ready, we have our um, paintbrushes, stir sticks, paint, uh, and trays, and plastic line. Plastic liners are amazing because it saves you having to wash out uh, the paint. You can just either take the plastic liner and wash it out or just throw it away, which is a bit wasteful, but it better, maybe better than putting paint down the sink into the sewer. So it's tossed up between you know, how environmentally friendly you want to be. So what we're going to do right now is, is we're going to uh, give this wall a light sanding where the wallpaper came off because there's probably still some glue so this it's nice and smooth here and a little bit rough there where we took off the handles so that when we roll it it will roll really easily so we'll just do light sanding here once we've done our sanding then we're going to give everything a, uh, a nice wash with soapy water to take any residue dust 
and any uh, water that might have sat on the walls before, any oils, etc., etc. So that's the next step. <laughs> sounded and we have washed all the walls ceilings and taped anything off any of the edges that we don't want to, where where we don't want the paint to go onto the to the next surface as I said this is going to be a lot easier because we are painting it's a, just basically a barely barely off white soft gray so we're not going to do the ceiling and the walls a different color it's all gonna be the same if you were gonna do a white ceiling and a colored wall typically what i do is is i paint the ceiling white and then drop down onto the wall by about half an inch with the white paint because it's very hard to get the paint of the color and the white exactly the same whereas if you bring the white down onto the wall it's easier to get a straight line of the color so that's just a little hint that I do and I'm sure painters do it too but that's what I do so uh, next stage is as we are going to do all the edges we're going to do the corners of the walls the ceilings any edges around anything so that it's prepped but all we have to do then is come in and roll it afterwards so we do it this is all this is all the stuff the piddly bits that take the time the fun part which is the roller and you just come in and it's like zoom 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 and it's done but uh these are the piddly bits so the next stage is to do all cut all of the edges with a pink color <laughs> okay so we're going to cut all the cut all the edges between the ceiling and the wall Make sure you've got enough paint, but not so that you're dripping everywhere. I'm basically going to go like this. The fact that we're so close to the color that's there already, it's going to, it's much easier to paint. When, oh, we haven't put the drop cloth down. It's much easier to paint when you've got a color that you're changing because you can see where you've been need to be a little bit more careful as we get closer to the edge here but for now what we're going to do is paint paint this up in here and run it so that you don't have globs of it from the between the ceiling and the walls so we're now ready to start uh, rollering the paint in once that's dry we're gonna do it all over again we're gonna do two coats but for now I'm gonna roll her Riley's gonna roll her first time yay <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to do all the trim it's gonna be the same color so it's uh, not a big deal as I said before so roll her away Riley <laughs>
done everywhere. So right now we're in uh, curing mode. We'll let this dry and then we're going to do the same thing all over again. All the edges before we can, uh, all the trim and then we'll go back over with the roller. Unfortunately this wall here had wallpaper on it. The glue didn't come off properly and it wasn't sanded off. So what's happened was the paint and the glue have made a disgusting mess. So we're gonna let this dry and this is gonna have to be sanded completely all over again and then redone. So this probably will not be done uh, today. <laughs> but the rest of it, we're gonna have a second attempt letting this after this is finished drying um, and then we'll attack this maybe another day. Okay, so we're back. It's actually the next day. So we've tried. So Sally went through uh, last night and finished pretty much everything except for this big wall uh, that we were having an issue with because the paint uh, went on a little bit too wet. Uh, so I had to wait and then sand this down with a uh, coarse sandpaper just to get all of the extra glue that was present um, from the old wallpaper. I just needed to get that off to make it nice and smooth and then we take uh, the fine block, uh, the, the sandpaper block, and then go over that once again just to make it nice and smooth and then we give it a nice uh, wipe down just to make sure everything is clean. So I'm going to go and uh, Sally I believe did the top edge yesterday so I'm just going to do the edge along here and then the edge along the mirror and then I'm going to roll the rest of it and then we have our second paint and we are all done yay but uh, I think it's looking pretty good in here it's a lot brighter um, and it, it just it's amazing what a good coat of paint will do let's go let's do it Okay, so that is a wrap. I'm done this wall, so everything's done. I just need to let it dry, and then, uh, I know it's kind of crazy, but I want to mount a TV in here. I, I take really, really long baths every night, and I watch a lot of YouTube, and I'd love to have a TV in here, so that's kind of why I did this. Don't hate on me. I, I know I have a problem. It's okay. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys found this enjoyable, it, and, uh, I hope you learned something. Uh, if not, uh, it, was a, it was a good process to go through. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned for more videos. We're going to have a bunch of stuff coming up. Uh, more like this, kind of showing off how to do stuff to your house, how to improve it, and uh, little jobs that you can just do by yourself on the cheap. So stay tuned for those. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the section down below. Talk to you later. Bye.